Well, thanks for visiting us here at darkletexhomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with a forecast update on today's severe weather threat. It's about 11.30 in the morning here, and uh, we do have a tornado watch issued. Uh, it's about 45 minutes ago. It does include all of northwest Louisiana as well as Columbia County in Arkansas. And that watch goes until 6 p.m. today. Uh, but I will point out that the danger as far as any tornadoes or severe weather likely wraps up by about 2 or 3 p.m. here across Bienville. Uh, Red River as well as Natchitoches parishes and thus the uh, severe weather threat for all of us in the Arkletex will come to an end by 2 or 3 today. The uh, tornado threat will be a little bit higher after 3 p.m. well off to our east and uh, a reminder that we do have a severe thunderstorm watch also in effect until 1 p.m. for Shelby County and that's where uh, we are seeing the storms move through here at the moment. So as we uh, continue uh, through the rest of the morning and into the afternoon here it looks like the focus as far as any severe weather will be south of Interstate 20. Uh, again we do have numerous uh, severe thunderstorm warnings with the cells here as we could see some quarter size hail or larger and potentially some damaging wind gusts as well. We did have a number of damage reports with the storms out there last night and early this morning and uh, that will be something we're watching but this is scooting through fairly quickly so that's why we think the severe weather threat will come to an end uh, a little bit earlier in the day than uh, compared to our, our friends over here in the Arklamis area but you can see the ingredients a little bit higher for severe weather especially in Natchitoches Parish and uh, points to the east even though it is a tornado watch this still looks like high wind and hail will be the main threat with the storms here as we continue through the next few hours. So future cast shows the uh, worst of the storms basically out of here by 2 p.m. It is possible we can see some lingering showers this afternoon, but uh, nothing severe. If you're in Caddo and Bossier Parishes, the worst of the storms coming through in the last hour. So even though we're in the tornado watch, I don't expect that we'll see any kind of tornadic activity uh, in Shreveport, Bossier, or in Caddo and Bossier Parishes here. So I think the threat for us has uh, pretty much dissipated at this point as well. Tonight, you can see uh, uh, the sky is clearing. We'll have some dry air moving back into the Arkletex and really nice weather taking over uh, for your Wednesday. I wanted to show you the uh, temperatures, which are dropping off pretty quickly behind this cold front. We do have uh, temperatures that have dropped into the 70s behind the front here. And uh, the big thing that will help us out, the dew point temperature has dropped into the 60s. So the dew point's the measure of humidity or how much fuel these thunderstorms have to feed off of. And you get dew points in the low to mid 70s. We typically see that in the summer. So uh, extremely high dew points for this time of the year. That's why we're seeing some pretty nasty storms out there. But when the front rolls through, the dew points drop off into the 60s. You'll feel a little bit of a humidity drop today, but we'll see a more significant drop in the humidity tonight as well as tomorrow. And uh, wind speeds will pick up as well. So once the cold front rolls through, we do have a sustained breeze here. That's uh, in the 15 mile per hour range in Texarkana. Some gusty winds in Shreveport right behind the front. Uh, but we should have that north wind pushing all of that dry air into the region tonight as well as tomorrow. So seven day forecast we get through this afternoon and it is uh, smooth sailing for the rest of the week here as we should see uh, again your temperature is winding up uh, in the 80s here as we continue through the rest of the week and uh, maybe even a few locations in the 70s tomorrow and we are going to see the chance of rain and storms pick up late in the upcoming weekend.